Hi my dear students welcome back to my channel this is video series 9 where i will be discussing multiple choice questions from the lesson magnetic effect of electric current those who have not watched the video series 1 till video series 8 you can check the link in the description box given below keep watching all the video series which i post for science and other subjects too and also don't forget to share with your friends without delaying much let us start today's first question the first question is the most important safety method used for protecting the home appliances from short circuiting or overloading is and the options are option a earthing option b use of fuse option c use of stabilizers option d use of electric meter and the correct answer is option b use of fuse because the most important safety method used for protecting the home appliances for short circuiting or overloading is the electric fuse and this is a safety device having thin wire of short length which is made up of tin that is 25% of tin will be there and 75% of alloy having the low melting point around 2 degree celsius so hence electric fuse is the correct answer the next question is a strong bar magnet is placed vertically above a horizontal wooden board the magnetic lines of force will be and the options are option a only in horizontal plane around the magnet option b only in vertical plane around the magnet option c in horizontal as well as in vertical planes around the magnet option d in all the planes around the magnet and the correct option is option d in all the planes around the magnet it is because see if a strong bar magnet is placed vertically above a horizontal wooden board the magnetic lines of force will be along all planes around the magnet so option d is the correct answer and the next question is the strength of the magnetic field between the poles of an electromagnet would be unchanged if and the options are option a current in the electromagnet winding were doubled option b direction of current in electromagnet winding were reversed option c distance between the poles of electromagnet were doubled and option d material of the core of electromagnet were changed and the correct answer is option b that is direction of current in electromagnet winding were reversed see in other options the strength of the magnet field can change because the strength of magnetic field produced by a solenoid depends on the number of turns current and material of the core of electromagnet okay so that is the reason option b is the correct answer the next question is each one of the following changes will increase emf or voltage in a simple generator except and the options are option a increasing the number of turns in the armature coil option b winding the coil on a soft iron armature option c increasing the size of the gap in which the armature turns option d increasing the speed of rotation and the correct option is option c increasing the size of the gap which the armature turns because it has no effect on voltage and the next question is recently in a science class test you are asked a question where you have to say whether the statements are correct or not let us look at the options option a is the minimum force is exerted on a current carrying conductor 
only when it is perpendicular to the direction of magnetic field and option b the direction of force on a electric current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field can also be reversed by reversing the direction of magnetic field and option c no force acts on a current carrying conductor when it is parallel to the magnetic field and option d none of the above and the correct answer is option a because the maximum force is exerted on a current carrying conductor only when it is perpendicular to the direction of magnetic field okay so that is the reason option a is the correct statement the next question is priya is writing some statements choose the incorrect statement and help her and options are option a to avoid the risk of electric shocks the metal body of an electrical appliance is earthed option b touching the live wire and neutral wire directly is known as a short circuit option c the red colored wire is the live wire and black color wire is the earth wire whereas the green color wire is neutral wire and option d an extremely large current can flow in domestic wiring under two circumstances that is short circuiting and overloading and the correct answer is option c the red colored wire is a live wire black color wire is a earth wire whereas green color wire is a neutral wire okay this is the incorrect statement the next question is the force exerted on a current carrying wire placed in a magnetic field is zero when the angle between the wire and the direction of magnetic field is dash so here the options are option a 45 degree option b 60 degree option c 90 degree and option d 180 degree the correct answer is 180 degree it is because the angle between the wire and the direction of the magnetic field is 180 degree the next question is a positive charge is moving towards a person the direction of magnetic field lines will be in and the options are option a clockwise direction option b anti clockwise direction option c vertically upward direction option d vertically downward direction and the correct answer is option b anti clockwise direction it is because when we observe from side okay we can say that the magnetic field is in anti clockwise direction it will be not in the clockwise direction or vertically upward or vertically downward okay so option b anti clockwise direction is the correct answer the next question is the frequency of electricity produced by dc generator is equal to and the options are option a 0 hertz option b 50 hertz option c 100 hertz and option d 200 hertz and the correct option is option a 0 hertz it is because the current only flows in one direction so that is the reason the frequency of direct current is 0 hertz so in the next session let us discuss the multiple choice questions from the lesson carbon and its compounds it's a very important lesson which i'm going to discuss in the next video series 10 If you found this video is useful don't forget to share with your friends thank you so much for watching my videos